Hey guys, we're here today in my build test world, only for a split second, because we're going to start the roads as done by popular demand. <clears throat> oh, my Minecraft character has a mind of its own, it's taken over. So we're going with this nice road design here. Uh, it's going to require a decent amount of redstone lamps, wool torches, just some pretty basic stuff, as you can see. So we'll just go ahead and get on that by going back to the server. Okay guys, well, here we are on the server and I have the supplies I need to get started on this road. Um, the only thing I'm going to need after I get this started is a daylight sensor to get it set up and running correctly with its daylight sensingness. So we'll just come right over here and we have our beautiful house. And let's see here. Now if I remember correctly, mm -hmm, I don't have any dirt on me. Let's see here. Take some from over here. There we go. So, if I remember correctly, I only grabbed two pieces, derp. And there, okay. So it should be five wide. So one, two, three, four, f oh, I, mmm, hmm. I am so stupid. Pfft. I can't believe I just made like a ton of cobblestone slabs when that wasn't even the design. These are not cobble slabs. Well, while I'm here correcting my derp, I might as well get a daylight sensor going. And I'm going to need glass. There we go. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, and, well, you know, I kind of have to make wooden half slabs first. Okay, one, two, three. Just make two, just because. There we go. Two daylight sensors. And now I'm going to need a ton of repeaters. So, let's see. Okay, I turned all of that into smooth stone. Oh, wait, I have a stack of smooth stone. Yay. Okay. And I'm going to need a third stack of redstone. And I'm going to need a stack of sticks. Okay, crafting time. There we go. Okay, there's that. And, okay, there's a ton of repeaters. Yep, okay. Okay, so here we are doing our first section of road. Now, I debated on this, but I think what I'm going to do for residential homes is as follows. Well, that's not exactly what I wanted. Um, all right, let's get these back. And pachow. So now you know it's kind of part of the pathway, but not really. Um, hmm. Yeah, because then you know the street's kind of elevated above the house. I like that. You look outside, and yeah, the pathway clearly has some, like... It's really important to make it look like 
the pathway kind of has... How do you say it? Depth, you don't want it to look one layer deep. So, you know, by kind of having these places where it's like, burp, kind of makes it, gives it a thickness. I like that. And I kind of like it being elevated up. I don't know, I just, uh, I think that's good. And I think I'm going to put the first lamp right here in front of this house. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. So that goes there, and then I need a piece of wool. I need a redstone torch. And... I'm going to need these guys. And you know what I should do first is get this lamp up here. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Because I won't be able to jump up there once I get all of these and nope you did it wrong you fickle stairs fickler than pickles okay so I'm not going to put um, right at this moment I'm not going to put the thangies on here that you saw earlier how descriptive the thangies uh, simply Ooh, right this is where that creeper blew up okay so I know that this is where my redstone signal needs to go. Is into that block right there. Okay, so now I have to figure out where I want to put the redstone light. Is it the size of a half slab? Sort of. Hmm. Uh, I think for right now I'm going to do something like that. I can move it or cover it up later. And then I found that one, two, three, four blocks is the length I want it to be inverted. So I put this here. And then I connect it to the system. And I thought I was in my test build world, so I tried to fly. But that doesn't work here. Okay, so let's say here I broke a piece of redstone. The light should come on. Indeed it does. Where beeth the sun in the ever-shining sky tonight? Or today? It's a good day. It is slightly past the noon! Okay. Hmm. We'll have to wait a little wh while to discover when exactly the lamp comes on. But let's, uh, let's jump back here. Take a look-see and see what we can see, you see. Okay, so... Yes, I think that's going to look really nice. So, some of you, well, some of you, a couple of you have asked about donations and stuff. And I have set up a donation thingy. If you check my YouTube page, there's a little donate button. And what I was thinking was a lot of people build monuments and stuff. But since my hope is to build like a whole city type thing... I was thinking, tell me what you guys think about this. If I do do donations, like if I actually start soliciting them, um, maybe instead of those signs, originally my idea was I would put item frames on the different streets, and then each, I'd put a different item in each one of the item frames, and the streets would be named after items, basically. But I can do that, or instead what I can do is have people donate, and, you know, anyone who donates, like, a dollar, and even just a dollar, a dollar helps. Anyone who donates will get a, a street sign named after them. So I think that would be kind of cool. So instead of having um, the streets named after all the items in the game, I could have the streets named after all the people who, you know, contributed something to helping me uh, build the channel. So I don't know what you guys thought about that. 
but leave your comments down below whether you would like me to go ahead and name the streets after the items or maybe you know name the streets after donators if I actually decide I want to get that running at full capacity so another thing left up to you guys let me know uh, which way you'd like it now I wonder if this tree is going I don't think this tree affects the light levels let me yep no should be fine okay so I'm going to have this here let's see here I've I have stacks upon stacks of this stuff. And we're going to have to try to deal with this drop off. What I'm thinking is we come out here like this. And so this one here is built all the way up. You know, again, adding, adding that depth we just previously talked about. And after this point, I chop out the dirt and I start building it down. So now you can see this outside one, so I want to keep that built up, but then the rest of these don't necessarily have to be built up. So I can get that half slab back, like that. And did I keep cobble on me? I did not. What a terrible oversight on my part. Okay, the sun is starting to go down now, so maybe we can go catch the street light turning on here. Um, it's just becoming dusk. I really hope we don't miss this. Miss the first turning of the lights of the street. Come on, the moon's coming up. Oh, I bet the street light's already on. Dang it. Well, we'll see. We'll see how good it is. Come on, load the chunk. Load the dang chunk, chunkin. A Akuna Machunka. Yep, the street light's on. Uh, I don't have any wood on me. I want to go chop down a tree really quickly. Because I have, or not a tree, but, you know, like, part of a tree. I'm going to get a log. That's what I should have said. Get that log there. There we go. Something like that, I don't know, I'll fix that later. And I still have a crafting bench in here, so I can go ahead and get a bed made. Uh, let's see here, I don't need you. I'll go ahead and I'll call this... Oh yeah, you can see the light right out the window there. Uh... We'll slumber over here, why not? Okay. And I'll sleep. There we go. That was not what I wanted in the slightest, but now we can see that the light has turned off and I have faced through a wall. So that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Um let's not do the wall phasing thing in the future. Go ahead and put this downstairs until I do an interior. I'll just make it as easy as possible to access so that I can sleep the nights away. So I should just be able to cover this over now. And we can come back over here. Okay, so let's, let's see how we're going to play this. We'll want it like this. And you know what? Maybe I can use those half slabs. I am just all over the place with the items today. Actually, I think I'm always all over the place. I don't think I've ever been completely prepared to do one of these, like, building videos. I'll start building and I'll be like, oh, you know, what would look nice is some feng shui lime wool. But all of my lime wool is back in the monastery, so now I'm going to have to go retreat back to the monastery and get all of my wool. It's, uh, it's a real problem when all your wool is always in the monastery. So monasteries just like to eat a whole fudge cakes. Those monasteries just like to eat up the wool. And geez, this project's going to eat up stone. I just, I can tell it right now. I threw it over here. There we go. And now we go back to the build. The ever, the problems of running back and forth in Minecraft, just all the time. You're like, oh, I don't have this thing. Let me go back to my chest and get it and run back. 
it's like when you're going somewhere in your car and you think you have everything and then like halfway there you're like oh my goodness i forgot my fruit cake for the party of course you need to bring your fruit cake to the party because if you don't bring it to the fruit the fruit cake to the party they won't stone you which of course is just you know an old medieval tradition no one likes fruit cakes so to prevent people from bringing fruit cakes to parties uh, they just they just started stoning people who brought the fruit cakes and all their rudeness. So I can do something like that, perhaps. Um, this actually needs to come out, doesn't it? Okay. So this needs to come out by a bit, like so. There we go. One more, and then do that. And I guess I'll just throw cobble down here. And maybe that. I guess maybe I didn't need the half slabs. And can I do that? It's either that, or I do this. Bring this back by one. Throw on a half slab. And then... Okay, so then I'd have to put a piece of cobble there. And I could do that. Or alternatively, I could do that. Okay, let's see how this option turns out. Half slab. And step. Let's see here. Which one do I like better? I don't know, I think I may like I think I may like it this way better. Uh, you guys can leave your comments down below whether you liked it the first way or the second way. I don't know, I kinda personally digging personally digging it this way. I don't know. Maybe you have different opinions than me, which is likely the case. So yes, this is nice. Also Mobs won't spawn on this road, which means goodness. It's goodness that mobs won't spawn on the road, but they will spawn everywhere else in the world. Fantastic. There we go, guys. That is going to be our start to the road. I think it looks really nice. Um, the lamp's functioning correctly. So, yeah, two two questions for you guys to answer down in the comments what style of transition did you like more did you like this one i currently have or did you like the one before it and how do you want me to do the street naming do you want me to open the street naming up to donors so donors can you know donate a couple of bucks and get a name thrown on the street or should um or should I just go with the item frames and putting items in them? I don't know. That's some food for thought for you guys, and I suppose for the time being I'm just going to do this lest I choose to expand the road out. Oh you know that doesn't look bad. That almost looks like a uh, sewer pipe grate or something. Yeah, that works. Okay, so thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Doodles!